Welcome back to another exciting physics experiment. Today we are diving into the world of elasticity with Hooke's law. Ever wondered why your car's suspension system works the way it does or why a scale bounces back after weighing something? It's all thanks to Hooke's law and today we'll show you how this fascinating principle works in real life. Before we begin applying any force, it's crucial to get the original length of the spring. I'm using a meter ruler to measure it precisely, making sure I'm avoiding any errors that could mess with our results. The initial length is 3.8 cm. Remember, this is the starting point and every change will be measured from here. Next up, let's set the stage for our experiment. I have mounted the spring to a clamp stand and secured a meter ruler vertically beside it. Here's a pro tip. Always use a set square to make sure everything is perfectly vertical. Why? Because a slanted ruler or spring can introduce errors. Now I'm going to add our first weight 100 grams which is equivalent to 1 Newton. Watch closely as the spring stretches under the weight. Here's where you need to be extra careful. To prevent parallax errors, always align your eyes perpendicular to the scale. If you look from an angle, the reading can be way off and we don't want that, do we? With the first weight done, let's keep going. Now I am increasing the load step by step. We've added 2 newtons, then 3 newtons and we'll continue until we reach 6 newtons. Just imagine this same principle applies to suspension systems in cars or gym equipment. Each part engineered carefully so that materials return to their original shape after being stretched just like our spring. For each load, I'm recording the spring's new length. The extension is the difference between the original length 3.8 cm and the stretched length 
under the load. By keeping things systematic, we'll soon have a full set of data ready for analysis. We've just demonstrated Hooke's law in action. From measuring the original length to gradually increasing the load and recording the extension. As Hooke's law predicts, we expect a straight line showing that the extension is directly proportional to the applied force. We've confirmed the direct relationship between force and extension. If you enjoyed this experiment, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more fascinating physics content. Thanks for watching.